Concerned Nigerian citizens are calling for a revamp of the education sector, especially with the recent scandal that has exposed the rot even further. In a chat with our correspondent, Mercy Frank, these Nigerians are sounding the alarm for and asking the people not only to hold the government accountable, but everyone around them. Here's the report. The topic on the lips of everyone is a story of minors that were seen engaging in adult activities. And the question on the lips of every grown up is, how did we get here? In a bit to retrace our steps, I had a conversation with a school administrator, with a bold child advocate and a leadership expert, all of them parents, to have a 360 degree view of this particular situation. It is um, devastating. Uh, to see that we are beginning to reap uh, the act of negligence by the society that further affect the psyche, the thinking, and the morality of our children. Alternative means of um, disciplining children to have the right moral attitude in the society is, is, is a source of concern to educators. Those who are part of the cultural shaping of that society, those who shape culture, who shape the narrative in the culture, the entertainers, the media, not just only print, not just only school, not just only... So we can't put all the blame on government alone and saying regulation. No, it's not just a function of regulation. Right. The religious mm -hmm. institutions itself, all of these have a role to play in this conversation. And with the training and empowerment of the girl child, the boy child seems to have been neglected in the scheme of things. When we talk about uh, reproductive health, unfortunately, we pay attention to reproductive health of the girl child, and we neglect the boys. And so where exactly will those boys get information from? Daddy won't talk about it. Mommy will never broach that subject. Schools will focus on girls only. Where will the boys get the information about the sexual health about their bodies from nowhere. They get all they get from other friends, from their neighbors, from the internet. What are you expecting to happen? This is why we're having so many issues pervading boys. The music, our music today is filled with drugs, it's filled with sex, it's filled with all sorts of lyrics, all sorts of funny lyrics and all sorts of dangerous messages. One good look at this issue is the economic situation that has made many parents neglect their responsibility or delegate it to other parties. Parenting is um, beginning to be an issue of challenge in our country here. And um, parents are either not available or they themselves need to be trained on how to bring up a child. It is unfortunate that when issues like this happen, Regulator also um, want the first thing they want to do is to um, shut down the whole school. Uh, this to me uh, would not be uh, the best strategy to cope with these challenges. The future of Nigeria lies in the hands of these children. And this is a wake up call for everyone to do what they can to leave no stone unturned so that Nigeria's education sector can return to its past glory and it can be given a competitive advantage on the global scale. Mercy Frank, reporting for Silverbird News 24, Lagos.